morning guys so today I got two more dives and then a night dive so three dives today and I'm learning a lot from this TG6 I'm only two dives so far with this but I think you guys see the progress I'm making is pretty awesome I'm liking the 4k but I think I like the slow motion better um, and the telescope mode is awesome I don't even have to use the telescope mode really this camera zooms way in and it's awesome for super macro better than my T my G7X with wet lenses so uh, yeah I should have just got this long time ago but something I've been learning in each video and the last video I learned that um, the focus I've, I've got that down but there's a lot of shake and I think the main reason is I took off my giant tripod because it's super heavy and I was just like the other thing I learned was how awesome and convenient it is having a light little camera that I can carry around the beaches, the shores, whatever. It's just so nice. Or if I'm in deep water doing a safety stop, I can just hook it to my BCD. But anyways, my last videos, they were nice, but they had a little shake because I couldn't, I didn't have a tripod. So, I need to, I need to sort out that problem next. And uh, I got a ton of gear here. So I would like a tripod, but not a ton of weight. So yeah, I gotta figure that out. So I gotta figure out how to combine everything. I got the two Orca torches. I got two extra Kraken 5000 video lights. I got this tray, but it's pretty heavy. And then I got these arms. I got some extra arms over here. And uh, here's a smaller tripod. Here's the big tripod that I was using for my other housing. Some GoPro stuff. Uh, I don't know. I want to try to combine all this and make a smaller, lighter version of what I was using with the G7X. With the G7X I was using this and this tray uh, and the video lights and everything and it is super heavy so I need to put all this together to make a light version of this but with the tripod and that tripod won't fit on this <laughs> so I got an extra tray but it doesn't have balls so I gotta put something together so I've taken I'm taking this housing off this tray I love this tray it was expensive, but I'm going to try to lighten it up. But I'm going to have to take these ball joints, one inch balls, off this tray and put them on that lighter tray. So, I actually also took off the arms. Jesus, Kevin. Kevin. Uh, let's see how that goes. Hmm? Critter Hunter. Alright, uh, basically everything I just said earlier, forget it. I took everything apart and I was trying to use this little tiny tray because it's the only one with the threaded hole that I can put that little tiny tripod on. But I don't have an Allen wrench to take off the ball joints and put them here. For my lights <laughs> so i even got an extra tray with ball joints but i kind of take them off and that tripod doesn't fit on here so i basically put together the system i already had which is pretty good but no tripod i just have to uh Try to be more steady with this one, which I can do that. I'll just have to work harder, or do some slow motion. So that's all right. Once I can get the right, uh, right tool, then 
I'll try using this. Okay. Just wait for Alex. And actually today, we're diving with a friend of mine who's a marine biologist here at the university. So it's a new site. We're gonna go try to explore. We got a lot of tanks today. Right, Shai? Yes. You got this. <laughs> We're at Apple Scuba again, getting our tanks and weights. Now we go to the dive site. So today I get to dive with my professor of marine biology friend, Klaus, which makes surface intervals fun as we go through our footage and talk about science of all the little critters we found. I'm showing you this clip to kind of explain more what a muck diving site is. As you can see, this dive, it looks like all mud and junk. Nothing to see. Just look at this little anemone with the clownfish. As you can see in the surroundings, it looks like a pile of junk. But in reality, you look closely and you find this. So this is what we like to call the Shaun the Sheep nudie bridge. What it really is, is a sap-sucking sea slug. Or what I like to call them, the leaf sheep. I absolutely love finding these guys, but until now I've been ignoring them because with my old camera there was just no possible way to film them. These guys are about twice the size of a period on the end of a sentence from a typewriter. They're minute. You can't even see them with your naked eye. I just, I could just tell there was something there. So I turned the camera on and sure enough, I captured this little dude. I absolutely love this footage. And now I'm just in love with this camera. Remember, this isn't just a fun dive. I'm still practicing and trying to get the hang of my new Olympus TG6. And I'm especially interested in the macro. So this camera does amazing. It's not just leaf sheep hanging around. I found this Tezuma shrimp as well. I like finding Tezuma shrimp because they're always in every different color you can think of depending on their habitat. And as you can see, this little guy is the same color as his little tree house. <laughs> okay, not tree house. Uh, coral house you know what I mean he's the same color he blends in perfectly you can see why it would be fun to film these guys and fun to find them critter hunting is never complete unless you get an awesome shot of a crab or shrimp I just love the zoom capabilities of this camera and being able to zoom all the way back out and have a wide angle that focuses pretty fast. This little guy could be hiding back there, I can lock on him, and it doesn't focus on the coral that's right in front of the lens. Awesome little critter and great little chance to practice with the TG6. So far, this is an awesome dive. Now if I could just work on the stability, I think these shots would be perfect. Now just look at all this mud and sand and nothing real pretty. And that's where I ran into three robust ghost pipefish. It's amazing. You can see why muck diving is so awesome for an eye naturalist or underwater videographer like me. That's where you find the rare critters. Don't need no big beautiful reef and giant corals to find all the crazy stuff. And on top of that, I got the whole dive site to myself. There's no snorkelers or recreational divers lurking around wondering what I'm filming the whole time. I'm out here in the mud in paradise all alone with my dive buddies. This guy was moving way too fast so I thought it was a good chance to try the slow-mo. So I changed the settings and started filming again. That's awesome. I have no idea why he moves like that. 
I'm told maybe it makes him look threatening. I don't know. He looks like a lure to me. Yep, another shrimp on another whip coral. You can never pass these guys up. This guy's kind of common and normal, kind of featureless, so I don't think I spent much time with him. At the very end of the dive, I found this tiny little bloop of a fish, and I think it's a baby robustos pipefish. I can't believe I found this guy and he was super hard to film. I normally wouldn't even show you guys, but he's so cool. Now I know what a baby ghost pipe fish looks like. Oh, that was an amazing dive. Neither of us have been to this site before, but I was just blown away. How about you? Yeah, absolutely amazing. Very nice. Uh, we, he, we filmed everything. I mean, we got separated. We were just filming everything, both of us. And I saw you filming this little robust ghost pipefish and Alex found three more and I was like, oh, forget that one. There's three together right there. Go And, and I, I saw you go over there and I heard you go, ah! <laughs> so it was awesome, huh? And then we found the uh, little Shaw the Sheep, Ludi I don't know what you call oh, it. Oh yeah, like a sucker girl some. Uh, sap sucking. Sap sucking uh, sea, sea slug. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sap sucking sea slug, Shy. Very interesting. Uh, they use the chloroplasts, the photosynthetic organelles of the, uh, the, uh, the algae which they feed on. So the, the photosynthetic process keeps going on in the bodies of these mollusks. As is, if you had, you know, like a chloroplast in your hair and you could just lay in the sun and um, <laughs> wouldn't have to eat. So they're like solar powered sea slugs. Exactly. That's awesome. All right. Uh, we found too much to talk about. We're going to go do a second dive, though. A different, look at over there, a different uh, dive site. And this one has more reef. I'm not going to say what we might find, but it should be awesome. For sure. All right. <laughs> Let's go. And that's all the critters I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and while you're at it, the bell notification so you never miss a Critter episode. So let's take a look at some of the comments from previous videos. The first one says, Let's see if we can get her through advanced open water and five specialities ASAP. I agree, Brian. Let's do that. I took her on a private boat dive the other day with Alex and the wife. And I didn't even film it, but she did amazing. So we're talking to Tim, and we're going to see if we could just continue on with her courses. If you guys want to be featured in the next video, all you have to do is leave a comment here. If you like this video, you'll probably like either of these two. So click one and enjoy. See you guys on the next one.